Mont Ventoux in southern France is where, over the next two days, Guy Martin will attempt to set a new world speed record in a gravity racer and go faster than 84.4 miles per hour. Everything's been put in place, all the boxes have been ticked. So all we need to go now is go and play the part. His gravity racer is finished and looks the business. Added flames, flames are always the way to go. Faster with flames, that's the rule. The local authorities have agreed to close a steep two kilometre section of the road each time Guy makes a run and special crash barriers have been positioned along the more dangerous parts to hopefully stop Guy should anything go wrong. Before his first run, Guy walks the course with champion street loser Helen Schmidt. So many memories on that road. Is it? Oh, memories of what? Shivering, riding fast. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. I like it here. For Guy to hit spine-tingling, record-breaking speeds, he must choose and memorise the perfect racing line. Yeah, I think you'll get round there, flat to the boards. Once you've passed this, really the goal is to don't, not lose any speed. This is the least path of resistance, I think. You just clip the edge of those bales. See, that makes that less of a bend. It's just how excited I'm looking forward to it. Before, I just thought, oh, I mean, you've, you know, it's all done. It's so I only need to go down here, it, really. But now, actually, I think, oh, yeah. For the attempt, Heather has asked along her colleague from Sheffield Hallam University, Terry Senior. He's an expert engineer who's helped Guy break a world record before. I was involved in the uh, sled last year and the last series, and, and me and Guy kind of stuck a bit of a friendship up last, the last time we were together. With everything now in place, it's time for the team to test the gravity racer on its first high-speed run. The body was only fitted the week before we came, so really this was the first run as the complete racer. In the back of my mind, there was a little niggle of worry. So there was a, a definite element of responsibility that I designed the racer and I was just about to send Guy down a mountain on it. Any words of wisdom? <laughs> Hold on. Come on, you can do something better than that. <laughs> Come on. Don't break it, don't break it. Yeah, don't break it. That's it, that's good. I'm looking forward to it. On the first run, Guy opts for a gentle rolling start. Once he was up to speed, he just kind of got that perfect fast car noise as he went past it. It just sounded fast, it looked fast. Came down the hill and it just looked like a bullet. Worryingly though, when Guy checks the top speed on his GPS, it's clear he is way off the 84.4 mile per hour target. 71. 70, 71. Almost 72. I was disappointed because I thought that would really give us an idea if we were going to break the record. For run number two, the team removed the standard BMX tyres they've been using for practice and replaced them with something they hope yeah. will be a lot quicker. We've put some proper road tyres, 20-inch road tyres on, slicks. That narrower, we could pump them up to a higher pressure as well, which is a great thing for reducing rolling resistance. On this run, the team also added in a push start. <laughs> And immediately, it's clear that the new tyres aren't helping the racer's handling. It was just skipping and it was getting a bit unstable, you know, like a little undulation in the road. It would just want to, it, would, it was just starting to skate about a bit. And so I got, me a bit, got a bit nervous. There's good news too, though. You go faster this time, why don't you? This is saying 77.2. We've gained five mile an hour with the tires. Yeah, that's bang on. That kind of G'd us up that we knew we were, what we were predicting was the way forward. Before the final run of the day, the official timing gates are set up to accurately record Guy's average speed over the fastest 100 metre section of the track. And the team adds weight to the gravity racer in an attempt to improve its handling and acceleration. One of the easiest ways was bottles of water. We knew how much they weighed, it was really easy to kind of chuck them in. With five litres of water, and therefore five kilograms of mass added, Guy gets an immediate improvement in handling and speed. She just changed the, the characteristics completely. Um, and, and Guy said to me, he said, it's feeling really, really good now. 81.8 miles per hour. Mega, brilliant. Three miles away from the actual record. 
everyone in the team was, was really excited and there's kind of a positive attitude. We're nearly at the record now when we've got all these other things to try, so yeah, yeah, we went, went to bed full of confidence, full of confidence. After a great practice day, the team arrived back on the mountain with a very clear plan. The plan is to break the record. We got so near yesterday. And with so much at stake, preparations are comprehensive. It's such a severe, really, you, you couldn't leave anything to chance. You just, it all had to be right. And checked and checked and checked again. We made a couple more changes. We increased the tyre pressures, we put a little bit more weight in. Everyone knows that today is make or break. Apprehensive, apprehensive. I was really worried that maybe that was it, maybe it couldn't go any faster. We all had butterflies. There might have been tension in the team, but for me, I was just going, do what I do, just do what I do, do what I do. It's just mega, I'm like a big kid getting to drive this go-kart, it's mega. With another five and a half litres of water added behind Guy's head, the gravity racer now weighs exactly 200 kilograms. Shall we get a lid on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tyres have been pumped right up to 77 PSI. Oh. Time to try and break a world record. We had a, a perfect start, the line looked good, and yeah, as we saw him disappear around the bend, it was sounding good as well. It fell fast. You're licking on. You knew every mile an hour of it. Every little sat there. It was so great. So fast. Got into the braking area. It gets a bit squirrely on the brakes, just a bit squirrely. There's a lot of weight to stop. Got to the bottom, lifted the canopy off. All right. How are you? Even right. before then, I thought. <laughs> Grand job, cheers, lass. Mega. Guy's done it. He set a new world speed record. 85.6 miles per hour. Everybody was so, so happy. Spot on, spot on, <laughs> spot on. We've done it. It was just such a relief. Um, we've properly broken the record. Tell us, tell us, we're dying to know. He was like, yeah, we've done it. It was 85.612. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Absolutely gobsmacked. I knew we were going to be fast, but so just oh, unbelievable. <laughs> they have the record, but Guy is not ready to stop. We're here to go as fast as humanly possible on this go kart that we built, and we haven't done. It. We're, we're not, not at the potential. We're not at the. We haven't re reached its true potential. He wanted 90. He really wanted to touch that 90 miles an hour. Just get him in, but get him in. Let's have the waiting. Come on. It's Guy. I mean, he's never really happy with what he has achieved. More speed, Captain, more speed. So let's go on, let's have it, let's have it. They decide to make a second run, but with another 10 kilograms now added, no one's quite sure how the racer will handle. We all felt a bit nervous. You could tell everyone was just a bit on the edge. Just, just be safe. Be safe. Go! And I braked into the first corner and it, ooh, I just thought, oh, that feels a bit strange. The back end wanted to come round and I had to let off the brakes and then get back on the brakes again, so I lost a load of momentum. And what I should have done was just ease the brakes on, sort the issues out, adjust a few things, and then take it back to the top and have another go. But I didn't do that, I didn't do that. And I thought, well, actually, yeah. What's the worst that could happen? It's coming. Okay, you to break. Oh, hey, I'll try Despite a massive crash at almost 90 miles per hour, Guy climbs out of the gravity racer completely unscathed. 
as soon as everything has stopped, I thought, oh, scratch my helmet. Scratch my helmet. My mate paints them. Scratch me bloody helmet. <laughs> Fuck it up. The team are very relieved to see guys absolutely fine. Wow, you're so funny. <laughs> <You're right, like, laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> you got it on the camera. You got it on the camera. I've had it. Press the brakes. Um, whoosh. Got to move. I thought, oh, there's no good trying to come to a control stop. I'm going to crash. It went sideways. And then I just saw a bit of red from the barriers. I saw time at sky, time at sky, time at sky. And then I was just looking at the floor. I was sliding upside down on my helmet. I could hear me rattling about. Keep calm and just keep everything in. Don't let your arms flail out. Mega, it was mega. That's a bad in it. He's bad. That was the great. That was the best thing ever. It was the best thing ever. Guys, fine, and the team have achieved their goal. They now own a world speed record. It's 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 a funny story. I I'm glad to be part of such a a project. It was really great. Although at first I was just so worried that we crashed, it actually proves that we've done our job as engineers. We've set a record, and we've proved we designed a safe car and there's no other way to prove it's safe without crashing it. I'm quite proud. I'm quite proud. To finish on such a high, we couldn't have asked for any more. Must have the nerves of steel to go at the speeds he was today. What, what an adventure, what an adventure. What, just coming to France and, yeah. I think he's a bit of a nutter. Best crash of the year. I don't know, that was best crash of the last few years. Thank you.